So you want to know the best way to play with West Ham United in FIFA 20? Well, that's great because I'm going to show you that in this video. I'm going to show you the best lineup, the best formation, the best tactics and the best instructions. So make sure you will watch the whole video because all the information is important. If you don't uh, set it up like I did, it couldn't. It could be that it doesn't work and uh, we don't want that, of course, because we want you to win the matches when playing with West Ham United. So my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Uh, I'm posting all videos uh, about FIFA 20, the best tactics with specific teams, tutorial videos, uh, name it all. I'm uploading it. So if you are interested in that, make sure you will uh, subscribe to my channel if uh, I would like it I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like under the video do really help me if you will do that and then uh, we are going to show you some gameplay first but first of all uh, I want to say it was really hard to play uh, with West Ham uh, I tried a lot of formations but all of them weren't working I was already uh, yeah, I, I was already confused. I think, well, I couldn't make a video about it because I can't find a formation for them that works pretty good. But then I was thinking, well, I'm gonna uh, show you it later. But the 442 is the most basic formation. It's working mostly all the time. So I was trying to play the 442 formation with West Ham and we did a really great job and I'm gonna show you that now. We're having a kickoff here against someone who was playing with Olympique Lyon. Uh, Friedrichs here on the ball to Felipe Anderson. Uh, really great player of course. I think it's the best player in the squad. Uh, we have the ball here. Uh, Antonio back to Felipe Anderson and there it is. The first goal from the kickoff. Well, maybe it's because of the kickoff glitch. But uh, yeah, sometimes uh, you have it and sometimes it's against you. So if you are able to score, of course, you need to do that. Then we have Wilshire here. Really great action and there it is the goal from Yarmolenko and it's the second goal then we have Antonio here a uh, good ball to Felipe Anderson a bit of luck we have the ball but we can shoot and it's the third goal only 20 minutes played in the game then we have Yarmolenko here on the ball back to Wilshire Wilshire to Anderson Anderson to Antonio to Yarmolenko and we couldn't uh, get forward so sometimes you need to go back be patient and here with Wilshire to Antonio good one too and there it is the fourth goal not even a half hour played and we already in front with 4-0 then this is a really weird situation look at this I already could have the ball three times but my player didn't tackle and here really great rebound not and there it is the goal so fifa is a bit frustrating sometimes and this was one of the goals <laughs> that get me frustrated but we're in the lead 4-1 so we don't uh, need to bother about it because we are going to win this match of course here a really great low cross to anderson and it's the 5-1 and my opponent decided to rage quit so really great result for us and finally a good way to play with West Ham I found and it's the 4-4-2 formation and this is not the only match I played with West Ham of course the 4-4-2 I all I mean, most of the times when I think well this is the best formation I tried it out like three four five matches and when I think yes this is it I'm gonna upload the video about it and make sure you will have a really great formation of course um, then we are going to the lineup so 4-4-2 is the formation uh, lineup Fabianski is the goalkeeper of course Fredericks is the right defender not uh, who is he called Sabaleta because Sabaleta he is so slow I think he is 62 pace or something and that's way too slow for a right defender Fredericks 92 pace his defensive skills aren't that good but with that pace uh, yeah, he, he does the job on that side really good uh, then we have the center backs Diop and Orbona are the center backs and Masuaku is the left defender then we are going to the right midfielder it's Yarmolenko uh, Suchek I think he's called and Wilshire are the central midfielders and the left midfielder is Lanzini so the, the left and the right midfielder aren't that fast they don't have a lot of pace most of the times when I'm playing this formation 
I have players like Dembele or Komen or yeah, name one uh, with 90 pace or higher and I'm playing them because I'm used to that and it's playing really good. But uh, in this formation, when you have in your mind those players aren't that fast so you don't need to make some runs forward you need to play more like possession like i showed you in the gameplay so not making runs forward just playing them uh, on the possession style and yeah that's working better than sending them forward and uh, trying to use their pace that they doesn't have so then we are going to the strikers uh, antonio and Felipe Anderson are my strikers because they are pretty fast and uh, not that fast uh, like the players I said before but they are the fastest players and I like to play with fast uh, strikers and yeah as you saw in the gameplay Antonio and Anderson did the job really well so they are my strikers then uh, the tactics I choose balanced with a width of four bars and a depth of five bars then the offensive style, also balanced with a width of 6 bars, plays in the box, 5 bars, corners, free kicks, both 3 bars. So it's pretty default, this formation, this tactics, but it's working really good as you saw. And yeah, why should you use uh, something else if this is working good? So balanced and balanced, uh, it's just the way you need to play with West Ham. Then we are going to the instructions. Let's go to the right defender, Fredericks. Uh, the only thing I changed for him is stay back while attacking. Uh, when you want him to make a run forward, when you have the ball, you can trigger him uh, yourself to make the run forward by pushing the button, of course. So, But by default, stay back while attacking because the op and Orbona uh, doesn't have a lot of pace. So you need to be a bit secure in defense. And that's because uh, the two, uh, the left and the right defender are staying back because Mansuaku also staying back while attacking. Orbona and Diop are just default the instructions. Uh, let's go to the right midfielder. Um, the only thing I changed for him is get into the box for the cross. All other things are just default. Then we go to Suchek. He's the most defensive midfielder in the squad with the stay back while attacking. Uh, instruction uh, stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center and then we are going to Wilshire balanced attack stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center then we're going to Lanzini the same as Jarmolenko only thing I changed is get into the box for the cross then we're going to the strikers Antonio the only thing I changed for him is get in behind and the same for Felipe Anderson the only thing for him I changed is get in behind so that's it for the West Ham video. I hope you liked it. If you tried it out, please let me know in the comments if it's working for you or not. Uh, I hope it is, of course, because that's why I'm making these videos. Um, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, make sure you will do that so you don't miss any new videos I'm posting. And hopefully we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.